I'm back on another review with my uh, Bear Carnage. This is my 2012 Bear Carnage. Um, I had a 2011 model. It's the same model, but you know, just different year, quite naturally. Um, just to give you a heads up on, you know, my story behind hunting with this bow back in November of uh, 11, 2011. Um, I was actually um, in the tree and. Uh, about nine o'clock on that morning, and I knew it was gonna be a good morning. And about one o'clock, a um, I heard movement coming from my left, and it was a six-point buck just barreling down the barreling up the ridge. I was hunting on top of a ridge. It was a hill, man. It was a valley on both sides of the ridge. So I'm hunting on top of this ridge, and is this six-point buck just come barreling down up on top of the ridge and just stopped about ten yards to my left, and he just just bedded down right there 10 yards from me so I'm like wow I can't do I can't even hardly move so I'm looking to find out why this buck was running towards me then I got my binoculars out and I'm looking through the trees and I seen this big uh, nine pointer he had it in at least 160 inch uh, typical so I'm real excited because that's one of the bucks that I saw on my camera I've been trying to get him for like two years and so uh, this buck just stayed within uh, uh, distance of the doe come to find out it was a hot doe in the area that's why he had ran that six pointer off so he's this uh, all this commotion was happening uh, for about a whole hour so I'm just standing there watching the spectacle and it, it's it was really kind of cool so um, then uh, about two o'clock I heard movement to my right and so this guy here this guy here came walking through um, he came walking through about, uh, let's see. he came walking through about two o'clock and after he came walking through, uh, I seen him come up on the ridge. He was on the, he was coming from my right. So, um, I'm just standing there getting ready for the, uh, for the shot. So he was about 20 yards from me. So I drew the bow back, anchored it, got ready and by the time he got to about 15 yards and stopped I put you know put the pin behind his shoulder and shot and uh, caught him behind the shoulder he kicks up and run off and about 20 yards he fell over you know and what really impressed me about this bear carnage is you know the big nine pointer he was still about 40 yards from me to my left with the hot doe never even heard me shoot so I was like wow that really impressed me so uh, I knocked another arrow, you know, and I was waiting for him to give me a shot. You know, he gave me one little shot, it was one little opening, um, right, be right behind a tree in, in between some brush. It was about the size of a softball. I seen his shoulder. And so I was looking at that shot and looking at that shot, and I was like, man, I don't even know if I should draw or not because I left my four wheel at home, you know, and I didn't feel like dragging out two bucks, but I wish I had done it now. But anyway, uh, just to let you know how cool that bow is, you know, it's, it's fast, quiet, you know, no shock, you know, and it's just awesome. But a lot of guys talk about, or some guys talk about, you know, that bow has a little shock and it has a little, you know, gritty feel when you draw in the back. Not to me it don't, um, because I really believe if you put the right accessories on that bow, it'll do just like it, you know, like they say it'll do. You know, it's like I said, uh, I'm getting 321 feet per second. At 66 pounds and 29 inch draw, and with a hunt with a 330 grain arrow, it's the uh, like I said, it's the Eastern, uh, it's the Eastern Flatline DOA 400 uh, spine, and it's uh, four point, uh, 7.4 uh, grains per inch, you know. But it's real stiff, real fast, you know, and it's definitely got a lot of penetration. So I'm gonna go ahead and hunt with this this year, you know, and. Uh, I think it'll be really good you know I think I got a good combination with this, this setup here you know but like I said I just kept going back with this carnage I mean I shot a lot of other bows you know and to me you know the bow has an excellent back wall has an excellent draw I mean you got a little small, little small hump but you still got a good uh, good draw overall because it's a speed bow you know and plus you got uh, you know you got good brace height you know seven and a quarter because if you pull it back and you got bulky clothes on you know at least you won't slap your arm uh, because of that brace height plus it's a good length 32 inches axle to axle and that's a good tree stand bow 
So, but uh, like I said, Bear really came a long ways to hit a home run with this bow. And, you know, hopefully I'll be able to um, uh, post another nice buck, maybe two bucks, um, 2013 season, um, you know, using this Bear Carnage because, you know, you know, I really love that bow. And uh, it's, 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 uh, it's worth its weight in gold, definitely. You know, but, um, you know, some guys may not be able to afford, you know, $800 bow, you know, and they want to get into bow hunting. You know, I, I, I really suggest if you just buy something, you know, that's, you know, reasonable price, just in case if you decide you don't like bow hunting, you know, then you won't be out of a lot of money. But um, it's, you know, for the pros, most most pros, they shoot that carnage. And I really, you know, I really love that bow, you know, because it's, it's just, it's definitely a per perfect killer machine definitely a uh, perfect killer machine you know so uh a plus for bear archery take care